Okay. This time with voice, hopefully. <laughs> I was uh, I was on the wrong scene. Go figure. But hey, here we are. We're back. And uh, it's the last Tuesday of 2019, as I totally didn't just say. And in between streams, I decided, you know what, let's go and do some things that I'd missed up to this point. So, let's, um, let's have a look-see. My character is wearing a full set of ebony armor, except for the, uh, Fist of Rangadolf. Rangadolf? There we go. And the Mask of Clavicus Vile, which is in the tower near Dagon Fell. Which is, yeah. I also found where the Cavern of the Incarnate is, so I could just go there. Um, I also happened to find the Quora, um, vampire clan. Of course, uh, they didn't survive the encounter, and I got a, their blood. They, I mean, you need the blood if you do become a vampire and you wish to be cured, but I don't. And it is a very good potion, if I ever do decide to use it, but it's right here on my shelf of random crap, along with the Daedric face of inspiration. And a Dwemer helmet, because it looks pretty. Look at it. Look. <laughs> But yes, I also have the Saint's Shield and the Saint's Black Sword, so all good stuff. And um, right now, they should all be able to hear me. Thanks for the tip, Ven. I completely didn't realize that I was in the wrong. <laughs> I was in the wrong scene. Yeah, it probably could have been an Easter Island. Nor is making popping noises. Anywho, it's raining outside. And, um, well, um, since uh, the last bit of um, the Open MW playthrough that you saw uh, on YouTube was um, part 14, and you see the little thumbnail that Van chose with. Um, where the hell? Oh, there you are. What are you doing down there? <laughs> I want to take you the Silt Strider. There you go. But yeah, you could see uh, Umbra. And there's a Natch. Well, that reminded me. Uh, I was a bit of an idiot last time I went to face Umbra. So this time, I'm going to go face him again. And not be an idiot. How's that? <laughs> I mean, I know it sounds like a stretch for me to not be an idiot, but... Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, come on! Please let me climb up the mountain. I hate when they stay just out of range. There we go. And now you. Okay. Right. Now that we have exterminated all of the cliff racers. <laughs> At least those three in the vicinity of Suron. We... Oh uh, yeah, I used the levitation potion last time I was here, but I don't need a levitation potion because I have the Steel Blade of Heaven! Which is a dagger. And if I use the dagger, I can levitate. Yes. Makes sense. Yes. So, there's Humbra right there, and... We're going to use the Crescent, the Daedric Crescent, because it paralyzes on hit. Which I already had last time I was here, but for some reason, I'm an idiot. And I did not remember. Okay, oh, we leveled up. I leveled up and didn't even realize. Well, since I don't have any skills to boost, let's get the speed up to 69. Giggity. <laughs> okay. Now, Umbra, let's talk again, nothing left, and I like a warrior, I shall give you the death you deserve. Excellent, perhaps now I will be granted a warrior's death, and if I am not, know that you will be. Okay. Bring me great honor. And he's paralyzed. And with him paralyzed, we can just use the Chrysomere. 
and whittle away at his health. And Umber is dead. <laughs> so now we can take the Umbra Sword, which actually deals less damage than the Chrysomere, but it soul traps, uh, soul traps for 120 seconds on target, which is kind of important if we want to start collecting souls to fill up these soul gems. So, I'ma take a sword, and uh, well, the orcish armor is very nice if you're into medium armor. Me, I'm a heavy armor type of guy. No, that's that, that's a mask. That's the mask of Clavicus Vile. <laughs> well, it does have a bit of a beard, I suppose. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> look at me and my horn. <laughs> Anywho, right. So, um, that's Umbra taken care of, so that's another uh, loose end that I have now um, tied. And we can go back to... Ow. <laughs> the... <laughs> Silt Strider to make our way up north... So basically, we want to go to Dagonfell. Best way to get there is to take the, bo the boat from Cull. There is a boat in Cull, I think. <laughs> and she laughs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you'll need to speak into the microphone if you want people to hear you. I have blood in my alcohol. <laughs> yes, Nori's been drinking. <laughs> I would have been too, but you know what? I figured since I'm gonna be streaming, I might as well wait till I'm done. Because you're a professional. Where would you like to go? Yes, except for all those Saturday nights that I drink myself stupid. Um, in any case. Um, and then he gets to bed and half the sheets in the sea. Yes, I go to bed a bit hungry and I need to eat. <laughs> Nothing like a good uh, textile. Oh, that's right, he fell. <laughs> yeah, because I want to get to him. And oh, you haven't fallen yet. It is not far off. Right. Let's see. We got a call. And Where then. Would you like to go? Oh, you're up here now. You used to be downstairs. <laughs> Let's see, I need to find the boat. The boat is down Why there. Walk when you can help? So, to the boat we go. Oh, I, I, I brought Umbra the best gravy. DEATH! <laughs> <laughs> and you. Y you will take me to Dagon Fell. Yes. Okay, so from here we basically just follow along the coast to the south and then cross the sea and yeah. So yeah, that tower over there, that's where the Mask of Clavicus Vile was. And I'm going to keep it because it's it's got very good armor rating and it forti fortifies my personality attribute by 30 points. So yes, it makes everyone like me better. Yes, that's how that works. <laughs> oh wait, let's use Umbra. Where is Umbra? It's dead. <laughs> oh, this is when used. Mm, that's, um, I thought it was on strike. It would cast Soul Trap. Whatevs. Let's, um, Umbra Sword. Keep that there. And you can see that the, uh, the sword is cracked. Along the... Uh, 
blade? Mm, the bottom of the blade. It has a special name. I can't remember what it's called. I know. It's called bottom of the blade. <laughs> <laughs> Rakasa? No. <laughs> bottom of the blade. <laughs> And I forgot to capture the soul of at least one mouse. Well, I see a Betty Netch over there. Let's go capture the soul of that one. I just saw a YouTuber feeding a cake to the mouse. I mean, it would have been worse if he fed the mouse to the cake. <laughs> I mean, it was real life, you know. <laughs> Well, the Betty Netch is floating a little too high for me, and I don't care. So, downwards we go. You too. <laughs> Put our hands away. <laughs> That's how you cast spells in this game. You use your hands, and you hold them up high, like this. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the Nori is mimicking the position of the hands. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> you can swear it's not Wednesday. The fuck's sake. And you will need to speak into the microphone, otherwise people can't hear you. <laughs> I need no system. You do not need to hear me. They kinda do. <laughs> no, they don't. They only say shit. Well, if you're going to be sitting right there, I need to bring the game audio, but... No, no, you lower. don't. Lower. No, you don't. You're right. No, it's fine. Oh, come on. Okay. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> don't, you don't need to accommodate that stupidity. Hey. <laughs> okay, so how did I get past the thing? I just levitated, didn't I? Probably. So, whoop. Yay. The sky tram? <laughs> I don't know English. <laughs> oh. So, now, we get ourselves over there. That way. Better get closer to the ground, because this is about to run out. Oh, hello there, Mr. Cliff Racer. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this game is about 17, 18 years old, okay. 2002, 2001 ish, give or take. Okay, then I forgive those flight dynamics. <laughs> it's just walking on air. It's, it's, <laughs> no, 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 it's the, 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 the thing flying. Cliff Racer. That. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's flying movements. Flying movements? Flying movement. Flying movement. Okay. And there's another one, because of course there is, uh, that way. I need to go up that foyada. Which, for those of you at Nori, um, who do not know what that means, that's Fire River in the Dunmer language. Where's the fire? It... it was lava. It, it's gone now. Okay. <laughs> it was lava that created that. <laughs> so, basically... The tips that you're given uh, to find the Cavern of the Incarnate is that it is in one of the Fayadas in uh, North Vardenfell. And the entrance is 
surrounded by these two tall looking spire thingies. And uh, yeah, basically you're told, yeah, yeah, just go and find the twins. And then follow the Foyada until you get to the cave, which is up there where we're going. And the rain stopped, so that's good. Fascinating how you can see the stars through the clouds. It's a, he a heavily cloud day, clouded day, and you see the stars very clearly. I could point out that it's night time. <laughs> it's still not like that, you know. I mean, they're really bright stars. Yeah. <laughs> and you can only see them through those thinner clouds there. You can't see them through those no, clouds not there. Not true, because if you went back <laughs> a little bit, you could see more stars than you see now. It's like the game was like, whoops! I mean, the clouds are moving with us. I'm guessing that's just a flat texture that they applied to that wasn't, the top. That <laughs> was all of a sudden put in front of the stars, and it wasn't before. <laughs> And also, in this game, there are two moons, but since it's cloudy today, we can't see them. Ah, uh, but you can see the stars. <laughs> what, what, what kind of a logic is that? I mean, the stars are stars. They emit light. The moons, see? they only reflect it. I don't care. Now I'm angry. <laughs> Our whole fucking night is ruined. <laughs> How am I gonna go into 2020 now? Carefully. <laughs> I'm so pissed off right now because of the stars. <laughs> okay, this is the cavern of the incarnate. The star and the moon. Or the moon and star. And if we try to enter it. The door is locked. You, you can't. Not open. <laughs> star is the key. Yes, like Azura says, the star is the key. And the star of Azura only comes out at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. When it's not cloudy. When it's not cloudy. But it doesn't matter if it's cloudy or not. My it? rest has been interrupted by a Quama forager. Again, overkill. <laughs> Did you see the size of that thing the size of the sword? Yes. Okay, 6 a.m. In the dawn hour under Azura's star, the door is opened. The door is opened. And here we are. And this, which stops spinning when we get there, <laughs> is a banana peel. Oh no, what is it? <laughs> it's the moon and star. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> that tiny little thing. Yes, and it fortifies personality and speechcraft. It makes me speak better. I do words good when I have this ring on. <laughs> Income. And now we watch a cutscene. Your first three trials I ate are banana, finished. but it wasn't now enough. Now two new trials lie before Throughout you. centuries, I've been Seek waiting for Ash a hero Ash <laughs> in the great house to castle. bring bigger banana for me. Four tribes must At name you Nerevarim. You have come. Three houses must no name banana. you Hortator. So I'm going to plunge servant, the world into redness and be your spiral guide. things. And when you and are built castles and Nerevarim and flap when you have stood before the false gods and freed the heart from its prison, heal my people <laughs> and, and turn to knowledge. stone. Do this for me and with my blessing. My hands are burning. There we go. Azura has given us her blessing to say, oh, hello, where did you come from? <laughs> oh, that's your corpse. Okay, I got you. You're transparent. She's a ghost. Okay. They're all ghosts. And, um, you know, like other ghosts in this game, you can actually kill these people. They are the failed Nerevarines. And, um, well, you can, in theory, kill them, but they have, like, 100,000 HP or something stupid like that, so it takes ages, and they they will eventually kill you, just because attrition. Because we have 114 HP, so yeah. Anywho, 
Welcome incarnate Moonstar Reborn, Hortator. Nervarine, mourner of the tribe unmourn, redeemer of the false gods. I am Peakstar. I was not the one. But I wait and hope. <laughs> Ask and I shall answer if wisdom guides me. <laughs> so she is not the one. And she gave me an embroidered belt. Uh, travel stained pants. Great. I really want uh, pants with uh, someone else's swamp ass on them. I mean, she gave me travel stained pants. Don't give me that look. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> okay, and uh, this is Anateria. Her story. She gives us the 36 lessons of Vivek, Sermon 12. Maybe I've read that, maybe I haven't. And her mace. I was a holy crusader of the temple in a golden era of the tribunate. I contributed uh, substantially to the writings that were uh, later suppressed by the temple. Oh, she was like one of the primordial dissident priests. And now they call me Apographa. I follow tribunal uh, unquestionably to my regret. I never believed in the Nereverine prophecies until it was too late. Take my humble possessions with my blessing. Cool. What about you, Erdan? His story. He saw Morrowind fall to the Empire, lived through the humiliation of the surrender, swore hatred and vengeance against the Imperial and tri Tribunal alike for their betrayals. In later years, I despaired and turned to Red Mountain, where I grew old and died fighting the Blight and Red Mountain monsters. Take my weapons and armor. I have no further use for them. So he gave me his spear and his cuirass. And I can still move. That's impressive. Why wouldn't you? It, because I'm near my weight limit. I'm at 553 weight units and I can only carry 590. <gasps> oh, it's medium armor. That probably explains that then. Right. How about you, Adrenic Nerathan? I lived in the late years of the Tribunate, and behind the scenes I helped us demoralize and repel the Akaviri invaders. I knew nothing of the Nerevarine or Dagathur until I took refuge uh, with the Ashlanders. I died a fool, trying to loot ruined Kogoran. Here, take these. Maybe something in the world left worth stealing. Oh, she was a thief. She gave me the Master's Lockpick and the Master's Probe, which are very nice indeed. And, um, Konun Chodala. And he says, he was an Ashkan, led his people against the Akaviri while Cyrodiil dogs fled before them like Kaguti. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that's funny, go figure. Um, I quite... <laughs> I quested deep into the strongholds in Red Mountain, cleansing the unclean things of their own blood. I did not heed the counsel of the women, and to my shame I craved glory, but never saw my real enemies. My axe and boots are yours, with my blessing. He literally gave me his axe, and Kanun Chodala's boots, which are light armor, and they're not very good. Right. You're the last one I need to talk to, I suppose. Your story. I died 400 years ago, in the last days of turmoil and unrest after the Empire came to Morrowind. I was a thinker and not a doer. And though I was marked by the stars, I was not a hero. Take these things of mine. My bones won't complain. Oh, he gave me Sithis. I read that as Syphilis. Yeah, uh, that's totally the name of an STD now. <laughs> uh, Hortled's robe. Okay, so what is Sithis? An STD. <laughs> yes, but what kind of STD? <laughs> A powerful one. Kanoon, the boots, Eridan, Spear. Sithis? Oh, it's the book, isn't it? Yes, it's the book. Alteration! It teaches us alteration. Ah, yes, in the other book, that, uh, 36 lessons. Nope. I already had already read the, uh, 36 lessons of Vivek Sermon 12. 
Okay. Whatever that gave me. Anywho, we now have the moon and star, and we actually do need to put it on. So I'm going to take this ring off and put this on. Yay! Okay, that's the third third trial? Fourth trial. Third trial. That's a third trial complete. Um, let's see. So Azura, each house must call me Hortator, each tribe must call me Nerevreen. Nibani Maeza shall be my guide. And so, we return to Urshalaku camp. Obviously. Yes. Where else would we go? Anywho. If I use a scroll of divine intervention, I'll be taken to Kull and I can just go from there. No, I got taken to Aldrun. Good enough. I can take the Silt Strider to Kull and go from there. Is that a sandstorm? It's a blight storm. It's an ash storm that's coming from the big volcano in Red Mountain. And they uh, erected that ghost fence up there to try and stem the tide of the blight. Building walls doesn't work. Go figure. <laughs> Ow. Alright. Did you twist your ankle? A uh, little bit. But uh, when you fall and you take damage, you, um, you gain acrobatic skill. What? Yes. See, the way the skills work in this game is the more you do something related to that skill, the more you level up that skill, and you can see my acrobatics from all the jumping and all the falling are already up to 89. Oh, so you mean like the Olympic people have been doing it wrong all the time? Video they game. Be jumping off the buildings and, you know. <laughs> Video game logic. <laughs> it should definitely apply to real life. It would be fun. <laughs> For me, anyways, to watch it. Yeah. Okay, so, I do carry a heavy burden, but, I mean, I am here. I'm just gonna pop back to Balmora, and it's still raining here, god damn. And I took a little bit less damage that time. You took some more acrobatics. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to put a thing, yes. Her mace goes here. His pole axe goes here. Oh, it's not a pole axe, it's just a regular hand axe. Right on. That's the Chris Amare, that's not going anywhere. The steel blade of uh, the heavens is also not going anywhere. Oh, that was a spear. Cool. Uh, I'm going to put the Quiros down here. That fortifies willpower, and no use for it. It's a house of a person I killed. So it's yours then. Video game logic. <laughs> no. <laughs> In real life it doesn't really work like that. <laughs> Alright, so that's a slight burden off our backs. Not much. <laughs> and from here, we gotta cull once more. Oh yeah, you're down there. Why walk when you can run? He fell. He used to be up there near the silt strider. Does he know he can walk up the stairs again? Now this one fell. <laughs> God damn these NPCs. <laughs> one of these days you're all gonna die. <laughs> to be fair, they all look pretty bored like to me. To go? 
<laughs> Maybe they were training acrobatics, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they could have totally been training acrobatics. <laughs> Anywho, so now we just follow along the coast and we should be back at the Urshilaku camp. And there's a dreamer. He'll probably attack me. <laughs> Let's see. Up there. Oh, there's a rat. Goodbye, rat. <laughs> Let's see. Stupid Kwama. What was it doing? Blowing on you? Yes, blowing poison on me. Like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but re with a really, really bad breath. Close enough. And once again, we fly. Till that st stupid. Cliff Racer sees us. Right, we're on top of the mountain. And if we keep going, it's all downhill from except for that bit. Now we can go around there. That's cool. And it's run out. Alright. So now, we talk to Nibani Maesa, and uh, the really boring part of the main quest begins. Because you basically have to go all around the houses, literally. The, um, the three great houses that are still left. Lalu, uh, Redoran, and Telvani. And get them to call you Hortator. I have no idea what that means either. Um, and then you need to go to the Ahimusa camp, and the Zainab camp, and the Elnyanism camp. Bless you. And... Yeah, I think that's it. You have to get them, uh, three plus, um, Urshilaku to call you, uh, what's it called? Nerverine. Yes. Because we are the reincarnation of, um... Indriel Nerevar. Okay. Hello, Reese Palilla. If that's how you pronounce your name. If that is your real name. <laughs> yes, there is a Nori here. <laughs> well, I see a couple of, um, flame atronachs. Me too. <laughs> of course you do. Okay. There's a dude. Yes. They'll live in these huts. And their well is a bit muddy. It looks like something living is in there. <laughs> Could very well be, <laughs> for all we know. Right, there's Nibani Maesa. Welcome, friend. You're nearly a legend around oh, here. Nibami Maesa? <laughs> Nibani Maesa. Nibani Maesa. Yes. Okay, seven trials. It once seemed a dream, but now it seems real. You've passed the third trial. It was the third trial. Now you must pass the fourth. And the fifth. These are much the same. And then the sixth, and then the... There are seven seventh, of them. And then the... <laughs> um, they are much the same. Each Ashlander tribe and each great house on Vardenfell must choose you as a war leader to unite the Dunmer against Dagathur's terrible menace. Each tribe must na- uh, me must name you Nerevarine. Each great house must name you Hortator. You have come for guidance, and I shall give it to you. Hortator, with a great 
greater enemy threatens it, the great houses put aside their quarrels and choose a hortator. A single war leader to lead all the houses. Only a great house council can name hortator. And all councils must agree. Speak with the Redoran counselors, Lalu counselors, and Telvani counselors. Prove to them that they get third threatens. When you are named Redoran, Lalu, and Telvani hortator, only then will you be hortator named in prophecy. So, Aldrun is the head of the Redoran, Balmora is the head of the Lalus, and wizards who speak for Telvani may be found in a strange building in Sadrath Mora. Cool. So all main cities, we can get them, get to them easily. The quests, the fetch quests that they ask us to do, not as easy. I have a question. I'll speak into the microphone, dear. <laughs> The fuck is a hortator? It's a war leader. Weren't you listening? I was reading it. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so the fourth trial is a stranger's voice unites the houses slash three halls and they call him hortator. Yes. And the fifth trial. A stranger's hand unites the Velothi. Four tribes call him Nerevarain. The four tribes are the four tribes of Vardenfell. The Urshalaku, the Hayamuza, the Zainab, and the Eremnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemnehemn
If you wish to be named Ursula Aquanera Varine, we may speak of these things. Well, aren't you smart? Yeah, basically this is just a game telling you, if you do this, all those factions that you may be associated with and you may not yet have finished their quests, they're not gonna like you. You do you. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> everyone else, just you do you. <laughs> Fair. Now be yourself. <laughs> Just these people don't know you like I do. See, if I was going to be myself, we'd be here for the rest of eternity playing this game because I can always find something else to do. However, since I do plan on finishing this game on stream at some point, I uh, yeah, let's just be the Nervine. Whatever that is. And uh, Sorceress says that uh, you yell louder than she does. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I did have singing lessons. <laughs> yeah, she can project her voice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Very well. You wish to be called an Erevarine. I know you, and I am disposed to do so. But first, we must speak of need and duty. Before I name you Nerevarine, you must understand why a war leader is needed. So you may tell others. And before I name you Nerevarine, I must see that you know your duty. Yeah, <laughs> duty. Uh, only when we have spoken of these things shall we be called Nervarine. Okay, tell me about the need. He said Nervarine four times in two lines. One, two, three, four. Yes. He's not a very creative dude. <laughs> <laughs> know the words of the prophecies. The curse of Digather and the sixth house threatens our land. The false gods lie and offer false hope of protection. You bear the moon and star of Nerevar. Azura's hand is upon you. And these are the proofs you must show to the people as Urshalaku Nerevarine. Cool. From the unmourned um, house have come the fourth and seventh curses. Um, the sixth house is a great evil and a great danger to all people. This is the need. You have seen this need. You have fought the sixth house. You have known the curse of Corpus. You have harrowed Kogoran, and seen the darkness that lies within. When you tell your story, others may be, um, may be shown the proofs. Yeah, we've been through some shit. Yeah. So call me Nerevarine. You have faced the trials and have passed them, but trials still lie above, uh, before you. Okay, uh, we have talked about, okay. You shall be the Nerevarine of all tribes, and hortator to all great houses. Jesus Christ, you shall repetitive. eat the sin of the unmourned house, and free the false gods. You must defeat the sixth house and Dagathur. You must free the tribunal from their curse. This is the burden of prophecy. This shall be your duty as Urshalaku Nerevarine. Okay, now he tells me. Before my heart and kin... And before the people of the Wastes, I name you Urshalaku Nerevarine, war leader of the Urshalaku and protector of the people. In token of this, I give you the teeth, which shall be assigned to old Dunmer, that you are Nerevarine, and that the Urshalaku shall follow you in all things, even unto death, until the enemy is defeated, or until you are dead, or until you give this back into my hand. Yes, Mir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering Wonder why <laughs> If the game developers that wrote the lore If there was more than one And then at a certain point they play this game that is like writing a sentence <laughs> Stop pushing my head Writing a sentence And then the next one that came along didn't see the sentence And just saw the last word and wrote another sentence about the exact same thing and then a third one came along and did the exact same thing, and this is what happened. It's just repetitive. Jesus Christ, drop drawing in a... You! Go here! Do this thing! And then we'll, you know, praise you and you'll be, way Nerverine and all that shit. And there you go, that's it. It's simple. There you go. <laughs> I suppose you could use the too many cooks spoil the broth type of metaphor here. <laughs> Anywho, uh, speaking of the teeth of the Urshalaku, Nori's been biting me this whole time. I don't know why. Uh, okay. I'm just sharpening my teeth. <laughs> so the teeth of the Urshalaku give us, uh, gives See, us... See, I told you. Yes. Resist paralysis of 10%. Okay. 
What is it? Oh, it's an amulet. Right on. Gotcha. <laughs> I mean, Morrowind isn't the worst when it comes to, like, the amount of text in it. Dragon Age Origins still exists. <laughs> but at least Dragon Age Origins has a bit more voice acting to it. Yeah, it's just a little bit. All right. This one honors us. <laughs> Please, speak. Okay, you must go to the Ayamusa camp. I've heard the Ayamusa are in a pitiful way, and they do, and they do not have an Ashkan. In this case, the wise woman may be uh, acting as the chief of the tribe, and perhaps she can speak uh, for the tribe to name you Ayamusa Nerevri. Okay. Okay, they're peace lovers. Um, you must go to um, nem, 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 Um That's where I was going. Mm -hmm. The Ashkan is Ulath Pal, is a strong chief. Chief? Chief. <laughs> but violent and cruel. <laughs> he and his Gulakans are known as killers and attack and arm victims and betray the rules of hospitality. It is a difficult problem. Only an Ashkan can name you, Nerevarine. But this Ashkan may not be willing. Even if he were, he is a bad chief, dishonorable, and not to be trusted. I do not know uh, what you should do. Speak to the tribe's wise woman. Perhaps she Tribes. will give you a counsel. Oh, it wasn't me then. Okay. You are a wise woman. I mean, you are the only woman on this stream that has an open microphone in front of her, so feel free to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Edifying. <laughs> okay. I say the best things. <laughs> sure. Uh, and now, Zainab Nerevarine. Zainab Camp. The Ashkan is Kaushad. Uh, he's a strong and popular chief. He is known to be vain and hard headed. To persuade him to name you Zainab Nerevarine, you must be strong, yes? But you must also be clever. To please him and her in his favor. Okay. Cool. Well, the, she just told us what we need to do when we get to here, and then what we need to do when we get to here, and then when we get to here. And that's why you're my personal assistant. <laughs> okay, Google. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Google. Alright. So... Maybe we should start from the bottom. If we go to Sadrath Mora, we can start from there and then make our way up. Are you it's sure? mostly unexplored territory up here, so. Uh. Are you sure? Please join me. Are you sure? No, I'm Pedro. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we are in Cull. Arthritis! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Must be bored and hungry. Are you bored and hungry? No, I'm drunk. There you go. Uh, Fallout 4 has 111,000 lines of text. Eh, yeah. Uh -huh. Makes sense. Did he count them? Uh, There's probably a wiki article out there somewhere that says that. Oh, I was worried for a second. That's, <laughs> that's no way to spend your New Year's Eve, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dragon Age Origins, I knew for a fact that um, one of the, like, marketing things was there's as much text in this as there are in three novels. Like, that did... <laughs> just, just give me the novels to read and then I can play the game. I don't need to read a novel in a game. Aldrin has a mage's guild, so we're gonna go there. Smack. And Acrobatics up! Yes. And uh, teleport ourselves to Sadrath Mora. Do you teleport? No. No. Neither do you. You don't need to rub it on my face. <laughs> um... Where's the teleportation room? Here. <laughs> At your hand, honey. <laughs> Every time. <t> <laughs> I was gonna tell a stupid story, I'm not. 
You can. No, it's too stupid. See, my mom is very sarcastic. There's an eye on that door. What the fuck? <laughs> it's tapestry. Right. Tell your story. It's not that interesting. I was just going to say that my mom is very sarcastic. And so every time I told my mom, Mom, I really want to go and pee when I was a little child, mind you. Mom, I want to pee. She would stretch her hand and say, here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, I'm, what? Just like, I, there's, what do you want me to do? There's no toilet around. <laughs> so that was my mom's way of showing love by saying, shut up. Okay. <laughs> I told you it wasn't that interesting. <laughs> well, you wanted to tell a story. You told a story. I didn't. You forced me into it. I didn't know such thing. <laughs> there are witnesses. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mira's mom told him there's a bush. Go use it. My mom would do the same when we were camping. So, Mom, I want to go to the toilet in the middle of the night. And my mom was like, there's a bush right there. She would open the tent. <laughs> she would unzip the tent and say, there's a bush. Do you want some toilet paper? Go. Let me fucking sleep. <laughs> and on that cheery note... <laughs> Let's see. I think I'm a bit stuck. Aww. All because I'm stubborn and I won't go around. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know, if you did that in real life, you would be, like, bitten by a bunch of crabs and stuff that live in between the rocks. I mean, I just killed a crab. <laughs> right. <laughs> and my heavy armor skill increases 60. I'm pretty sure you would drown if you fell in water with all that stuff. Or not. I'm, I'm really strong. <laughs> I know you are, darling. I know you are. I'm actually not. It's just a video game. <laughs> you don't need to know. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, let's see. So this is Telf here. We've been here. That's where we got cured of Corpus. And I missed a boat. Now I'm being attacked by another fish. No, Pedro does not have crabs. That's not what I said. <laughs> I know I can't English very well, but you know, context is very important. What are you talking about? This is Linux Gamecast. There is no context. <laughs> I'm not Linux Gamecast. I'm an extra. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Nori's an extra. <laughs> I'm the added bonus. <laughs> I'm on the wish list. No, I'm not. Uh, anywho. Well, that's where we want to go. I guess that's the camp right there. Cool. It's a fish. No, it's not. Oh, it is. It is a fish. <laughs> Tadpole. Tadpole? Yes. Yes. Tadpole. <laughs> Tadpole. Aw, <Jeez>. oh, thanks. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm guessing these are not the Ashlanders I was looking for, because, um... They look half-eaten. 
Holy crap, look, look at his surname. Urshumarnamus. <laughs> Urshumarnamus. Urshumarnamus. <laughs> So, this is not the cap I was looking for. I saw a hut and I thought, you know what? They saved me some trouble. It's right there. You're an Enwa, and you died. What's wrong with their skin? They're dark elves. No, I mean, it looks. I don't know about the texture, it looks like they're rotten. Some of them are old, they have wrinkles. That's not very nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I say wrong things all the time. Uh, and yet she's the person who corrects me the most. Yes. <laughs> I make a habit out of kicking him under the table. <laughs> Repeatedly. <laughs> Bite what? Bite the dust. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, from the look of things, Linda. No. Did you say Linda? Yes, that's Sorceress's name. Hi, Sorceress's name. <laughs> and my long blade increased to 86. Giggity. <laughs> Oh god, someone else got that pun. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. <laughs> I know I look like it, but I'm not. Like we just established you're the one who corrects me. <laughs> when I'm sober, most of the time, yes. Yes, Outlander, how do you do? <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, something wrong with this NPC, because it's the only one I've seen smiling so far. <laughs> She's terribly and happy. It's terrifying. <laughs> Why is it smiling? Stop smiling. <laughs> Just be miserable like the rest of them. Walk with virtue, Outlander. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? Why was he staring at you like that? I'm not sure I'd like this game anymore. <laughs> Please go ahead, Outlander. I'm listening. Anywho, now that we've had fun <laughs> staring at the NPCs. I need to remind myself what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here. Uh, um, near, near, near. What was this place called? Ah, uh, it was that one. Okay, let's find the index and go to the. Uh, Ulath Pal is a strong chief. Okay, it, it's that one. What do you want? Which one? He keeps staring at you. Yes. They greet us as we walk. With their eyes. They're also speaking. You can't hear them, but they're also speaking. Okay. <laughs> um, you're, you're the one I'm looking for. You are the outlander who claims to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies. What do you want? A car. I don't think they existed. Then fuck off. <laughs> uh, we know about the prophecies. We think they are foolish superstition. Don't bother us with this nonsense. Okay. That was rude. We're, they're not having any of that. Uh, so I need to go talk to their wise woman. Are you the wise woman? Yes. The wise woman. Yes. <laughs> That's a bit presumptuous. <laughs> you are the outlander who claims to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies. Do you need my services or do you seek my counsel? Her you surfaces? Services. V v <laughs> Servi you said surfaces. Yes, yeah, sure. I'm her services. <laughs> Do you need her services? <laughs> Look at her. All of her is a surface. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is. 
Okay. Uh, you wish to? Yes, I do. Never. Not while Ulath pal ba -di -ba -di -ba -di. That didn't make any sense. They all hate the Outlanders and are proud and haughty, and will never suffer an Outlander to rule them. Wait, they're proud and haughty. Yes. Where is that? And are proud oh, and haughty. Oh, haughty. Oh, haughty like that. Okay. Yes. Um, if you would be Nerevereen of the Mnim -nim -nim -nim, uh, you must kill Ulathpal and his supporters, the Gulakans, Akaz Ranabi, and Ashulat. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? That's his name, Ashuhat. <laughs> and you must help me make peace loving, um, Mnim -nim 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 <laughs> I know what she wants. <laughs> Our Ashkan, Ashkan Han Hamu. Would um, could then name you Nerevereen. Okay, his faithful bodyguard. He is not so strong or skilled as Ashune, but um, Ashune? wherever you see Olathpal, you will also see Azaz. If you Ashu Ahe. Ashu Ahe. No, Ashu Ahe. Ashu Ahe. No, Ashu Ahe. Too many syllables. It's just two. <laughs> Four, actually. <laughs> Shut up, I'm drunk. Ashu ahe. I'm drunk and I can still read it better than you do. <laughs> I've been reading this thing this whole time. Excuse me for, um, you know, not caring. <laughs> and you should have more acrobatics. <laughs> I will. <laughs> uh, but yes. So, apparently the... Um, Bodyguard doesn't leave the um, Ashkan. Ranabi is mean and solitary, but he is cunning. He relies uh, too much on the power of his ancestors' enchantments. He is not so strong, but beware, he bears a poison blade. <gasps> Ashu <laughs> is a great fighter. Ashu <laughs> Ahe! <laughs> the most strong and experienced of the Abrinim <laughs> Hemenheme. He wears enchanted armor and boasts that none of the ever him 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 can defeat him. Not even Ulath Pal. Right. Not even that. I'm never too busy for good talk. Thing. <laughs> Elf. Thank you. Sorry. So since um. Elves are people too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> No, <laughs> it's my stream. I do what I want. <laughs> Anywho, uh, speaking of my stream, um, Happy New Year there, Arthur, and apparently you're GMT plus one. We're gonna be... Happy New Year! Yay! We're gonna go do our own preparations for that, and since we are at an hour, uh, I think I'm gonna leave it here. Are you? Yes, and thank you all so much for joining us uh, for this... Um, a special stream where Noria refused to speak into the microphone. Yeah. And they could hear me anyway. See, there's lots of people saying naughty 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 naughty. I'm sure they could, but I could hear you so much better if you spoke into the microphone. No, they couldn't. <laughs> Anywho, tomorrow is um first day of the year. It's a holiday in most places, and it's also day for uh Linux Weekly Little Wednesdays, so join us at the usual time right here on Twitch. And, of course, on Thursday, Jordan will be doing his thing, so stick around for that. How do you do? Oh my god! And, uh, on Friday, Ven will, um, come back around with another edition of the Friday Night Foobar. Ooh. Whatever he decides to do, that's up to him. On Saturday, we have the big show, Linux Gamecast Weekly. So, thank you all very much for joining us, and, uh, we shall see you in the new year. Bye bye Bye. 2020s right around the corner. Ooh. I'm never too busy for good talk. <laughs> <laughs>